My name is David Andre. My practice hinges around drawing and painting. I'm trained in that. I'm really interested in perceptually based drawing and painting. And lately I've been really interested in how that can be expanded. And what if you take a drawing or a painting idea and you push it through another medium, such as sculpture or sound? And what types of forms might that take? So with the freeze casting project, I came up with this idea to wrap wet fabric around elements in the landscape, let them freeze, and then lift that form, kind of place it in a context that was different than where it was actually formed, kind of set it upright, and then photograph it before they collapse. I'm really interested in carrying through that idea of these very temporary spaces into the process that I'm working with here. Because these, what I think of as sculptures, are very temporary. Sometimes they only stand for the amount of time that I was able to take the picture. Sometimes they'll stand for hours on end. I never know what's going to happen. But I like that there is this like tension with the process of something that may or may not work and something that ultimately will disappear in the end. My experience here at the Art Colony in Grand Marais has been wonderful. So I was excited to kind of come back to a cold, freezing location to continue that process. So I think that's a really important thing that the Art Colony has provided me is access to this landscape. I like the idea that I can be working with the landscape as a subject that's maybe outside of direct human intervention. I like that there is just this kind of pureness to the landscape. It is like landscape, you know, capital L. <laughs> One of the challenging things when you're making drawings and paintings is that the mark is always inherently tied to your own hand, your own sensibility, your own handwriting, so to speak. And working with this freeze casting project, I get to kind of step outside of that for a moment. And there are certain decisions that I get to make in the landscape, like what color fabric am I choosing, what size of the fabric, what form am I doing the casting of, how do I kind of terminate the ends. But in terms of the overall form, that's really based on what the landscape is providing. So there is a kind of collaboration between my own hand and then this other element, the landscape itself. It's like a footprint, you know? It's, it's, a, it's an echo of what's actually there in the landscape. I'm really interested in the process of trying to hold on to a really brief moment and kind of celebrate that brief moment. You know, I freeze that fabric, I can kind of set it up and photograph it for that brief moment, but then eventually that thing will collapse and disappear. I like that ephemerality. It is an actual struggle to try to hold on to things, and I would hope that that would translate somehow through the images, that you would see this kind of like, elegant moment of this brief moment where you could kind of hold on to that thing.